Hi, and welcome to Two Time Teachers. Today we want to talk to you about our portable air conditioner that we're using in our RV. It is wonderful. The We're going to talk about the pros and the cons because there are yes. cons. Yes. Um, the one we have is a Costway and um, a Costway 8000 BTU. Our RV is a total of uh, 22 feet from ball to bumper and the box is 18 feet and are you going to freeze out if you use this? No. No. The pros. Let's talk about the pros. It cools it down about particularly if you close off the bathroom door and get rid of about two feet of this 18. Feet. Yeah, and the other thing is it cools the part that's in front yes. of the yes. little unit. So where we put it here at in the middle of the couch, it cools from there to the beds. Yes. It'll drop the temperature in here 12 degrees or more. Degrees. Yes. And that's advantage one is it does work. Advantage two, it is much easier on our solar than trying to run that the air conditioner that came yeah. with the unit. It uses half of the the electricity required for the roof mounted air yes. conditioner. Which means that, as she said, we can run it from our solar and the other thing is we can run it from our Westinghouse iGen 2200. We can run it from shore power. And on this particular trip, one of the things that I have done a number of times is I have run a dedicated uh, extension cord yes. that goes from the air conditioner to the generator. And why I did that is because then we can run our air conditioner off of our generator. Yes. That's the only thing on our generator. So that we have our solar left to run the microwave if we need it, or a coffee pot, or any of those other things yes. that pull a bit more, we're not worried about because this is running straight off of our generator. Um, and then when we are connected just to a 110 outlet, yes. we can run that, that little will, air conditioner. Yes. And so those are the pros, the cons. It is a pain to set up. Yes. It takes um, less than two minutes. Yes. But it is something you have to do other than just push a button. And that's after you've gotten things ready. Yeah. I mean, um, it doesn't... I used a truck visor, like on for the to keep the sun out. Uh, I used that, folded it over, doubled, and taped it together. And then I cut a hole for the exhaust. And so all we need to do is open this window that's behind our couch. And now, because that's I've taped it in, all I have to do is just put the Velcro. I used Velcro just to make it clear what I did is I put the Velcro and I would have used black if I'd realized how much it was going to show but I didn't and it works great so I'm not going to change it uh, but I put the Velcro with the uh, curl up side attached to the window frame then I went back and we had to cut those strips to fit Mylena yes. did all of that cutting um, then I went back and I placed the other part on top of that that's all I did. Yes. To make sure it fit the car visor correctly, yes. then I carefully went back and peeled off the sticky part on the part where the car visor was going and attached the visor to that and left the visor in the window for a couple of days yes. just to make sure yes. and would rub it down good to make sure everything was going to adhere right. Folks, that keeps the heat out. That yes. keeps the exhaust out. Uh, then the cord or the 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 accordion part for yes. the exhaust um i have to screw into that whenever we set it up yes. or take it down and put it onto the back of the air conditioner and then we have to put the drain how much water drains out of it depends on how humid you, the yes. air is where you're running this unit we then wrap that exhaust in a towel because that exhaust is going to be hot. Yes. That 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 hose that's taking that exhaust out gets hot. So we just wrap it in a, a microfiber towel and a blanket. A blanket. Thank you. Welcome. And that keeps this 
12 feet, I'm yes. going to say, and our RV is 7 feet wide, but it keeps this in very comfortable, yes. very doable. Um, we plan on spending tomorrow night in a hotel casino parking lot in Oklahoma City. We obviously have no hookups there. What we plan to do when we get there, if we need the air conditioner, yes. it's unseasonably cool right now, but if we need the air conditioner, this is how we had planned on doing yes. it. Get there, start the generator, run the AC from the generator until 10 o'clock or whenever yeah. we get ready to go to bed, which means we've saved all of our solar so that we can actually run the air conditioner overnight. Yes. Uh, because it's our last stop, we don't care how low the batteries get uh, before we go. So we would be able to do that. And yeah, there. and then we do have to uh, secure it while we travel. Yes. We're fortunate. We've put a dog crate under my bed. And so it's very easy just to use a couple of bungees to hold this in place. Uh, we have used it less than half the time on this trip, <laughs> but I am so thankful we had it with us. I am too. Uh, we when needed it. We've when needed we it. it. Yeah. <laughs> we've been gone a month and there were about five or six days where yes. we really needed it. Yes. And it has worked like a charm. And so I was curious. Uh, and when I started looking, I didn't find a ton of RVers that had done this. Um, and so I just want to put this out there. We're not sponsoring this air conditioner. No. It's and, and there are several brands. Yeah, different you kinds. Can get. Read the reviews. <laughs> and this is the one we chose. This is the one we're using. This is how we're using it. And we chose this because it's a tad smaller and it's a bigger BTU than we thought we had. Yeah, the it's a 12 inch by 12 and a half, and so it was going to fit where we needed yes. it to ride. That was one of the reasons why we went with yes. this one, uh, but. Folks, yeah, when we're connected to 30 amp power, we'll run the roof sure. uh, AC, and that's not, you know, no problem. But when we're off grid, being able to run an air conditioner during those heat, uh, uh, the heat of the day, it's been awesome. Yes, <laughs> it has been so cool. Uh, it's been so neat to be able to do that. And uh, like I said, a small 2,000 watt generator, mine's a Westinghouse IGN 2200. Uh, running watts are 1800 and it has you know you hear it rev up and then it just pulls it no problem whatsoever yeah. and uh, uh, this is a great option for us and it gives us it, it extends those window seasons a little yes. bit further where yes. where we don't have to we felt comfortable knowing okay we can spend the night in Oklahoma City sure. overnight and if we need the air conditioner we'll have it and yeah. so it was we were able to make plans based on that, and that's that's been nice. So, if you're looking for a portable air conditioner to use in your RV, yeah, it's going to be a little bit more work than just a roof mount. But and we've read about people who have used them in their homes. Yes, yes, that's actually that's what they're made is. for. Um, uh, one of the mini splits, we just don't have a great place for it to fit. Yeah. And this way, we're not having to put any holes in our yeah. RV to run it. And this is working well for us, and we left it running for, what, five or six hours. Yes. We were on a mission yes. trip, left the pets in here, and uh, were able to leave it running just, uh, we were at, at the church. We had 110 outlet, run the uh, RV to that, and we left, were able to leave it running, and it was noticeably cooler in yes. here. We have a little thermometer up here where we uh, we can see the temperature dropping, and so... Uh, it may not be right for everyone. I would not want to depend solely on this if I were planning on camping somewhere in a desert or in, you know, in the middle of the summer. But for those uh, opportunities where you think you may need it, this has come in handy for us. Thanks for watching Two Tired Teachers.